Hey everyone, what's going on? Greg here again from TM Blast. In this video, I'm gonna go over structured data markup for video. Basically, you wanna make sure that Google and also Bing can understand if there's a video on your page, if they can read the metadata. And currently, I ran a test this morning at 11.13, and there's no detection of video, even though I have two videos right here on my page. So that's a problem. Basically, from a technical side, uh, Google and probably even Bing can't even see the videos here and therefore not getting the ranking benefit. So in this video, I'm going to go over exactly how I'm going to uh, detect it, how I'm going to fix the problem, run the test, make sure that Google can see one of these videos. Hope you guys enjoy. Uh, this is the, I think the issue right here is that I have this um, video short. Uh, so I have my video over here and then I have this uh, short that I think is causing the problem. So I'm going to remove that. So I'm going to go into the code over here and I'm going to look for where I say local SEO success story. So I'm gonna search for that local SEO success. And I'm gonna remove this entire thing here. I think this is the problem. Cause I have this video markup code, but I'm gonna regenerate it again. So you're gonna go and go to video schema uh, markup generator. You can use Google or Bing. Either way, I think it's gonna be the first result. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go, so I'm gonna bring this over here. I'm gonna grab the exact URL. So I'm gonna click on this going to go right to YouTube and I'm going to let the URL kind of refresh and I'm going to pause this so you don't need to hear me. Copy the URL, bring it now into the video generator, generate video schema. Now what I like to do here is um, change out the, uh, the text because basically Google is um, extrapolating or the, or the schema extrapolating the, the, the data that I have for my YouTube video. So there's a lot of content right here that probably does not need to be. So I'm going to say, um, okay, let me just get rid of all this right now, just as a test. So I'm going to get rid of all of this and delete it. Okay. So I have span. That's fine. So I'm going to now copy this code, go back into this. I think this is fine. But just to be safe, I'm going to get rid of all this and upload it one more time. So I have this div, get rid of that too. Okay, there you go. You can see now it has meta item prompt, the thumbnail, upload date, YouTube, the description, hit update. Let's see what this does. And I'm going to go to view page to see. Now I'm, I have to clear my cache too, probably for my users, but we're doing this just as a test. So look I see a page and you can see here I have the name of the YouTube video I got rid of my um, in, uh, some of the description here so that's all fine let's go to the Google uh, rich results tab all right so let's do this real quick um, Google rich results so Google rich results test Okay, just to confirm again, so you guys saw the before and after. So the before at 11.13 in the morning, I ran for my photography page, 23 valid items detected. You can see there's no video whatsoever right here. So let's rerun the page. So I'm gonna take the URL and I'm gonna copy it, and put it right in here and click on test. Now, again, I strongly encourage you guys that if you run this test and if it proves out to be fine, to then go in and clear your cache. So go into your hosting provider and clear it that way. You want to flush it out completely. Because again, Google might use some caching data for it. Um, and even users might say something different. Anyway, you can already see that this worked. 24 valid items detected and the video is right over here. So again, do the before and after. So we can look at this before, no video, 23 valid items detected after removing the short and then doing the video markup again, Google can see this. So I can click on video. It's gonna tell me that Google crawled it at 11.27. Uh, you can use the drop down. you make sure that, yep, they got it. You can go to detected items. Now this is all the metadata right over here. So you can see exactly that the description I wrote and um, the thumbnail and everything like that. Um, so that's pretty much it. That's really the test and kind of confirm why this is important is that if you have video on your website and you embed it from YouTube, um, there's a chance that Google is not going to be able to um, detect this video. And you might actually see that as a message within Google Search Console. And chances are that if Google can see it, Bing probably can't see it either. So from like a user perspective, you have a video, that's great. 
But from an SEO perspective, if the search bot can't fully understand what this video is about, you're going to lose some potential ranking opportunity. Because of all this work you did for to create a you know great video, you want to make sure Google and Bing can also interpret all the data there. So, uh, in summary, go to the uh, rich results test, put in the URL that you want to test, see if they can see the video, and if they can't, then you want to go back into the um, video schema page over here, put in the URL, the, the video you want. I like to use video schema and micro data down here in the bottom, paste that into the page, run the test, and then clear the cache. Anyway, hope you guys found this uh, technical uh, SEO uh, tip to be helpful. But if you do a lot of videos for your website, it's going to be a must because you want to make sure Google can read this data properly. Anyway, let me know if you guys have any questions and as always, have a good rest of your day.